Hi, I'm Eric Pratt from US Broadcast Distribution, and today I want to show you the smallest PTZ controller in the Scarhoy family. It's this little tiny unit here that's actually so small, you probably can't even see it that well. So let's take a closer look at it. This is the little guy here. It's got a row of buttons uh, that can be set to be PTZ camera selectors, presets. Um, in this case, we've set it up to also fire off uh, our vMix inputs. I'll explain a little bit more about that in a second. Um, it's got a auto slash cut button, and what that means is this has been set up as a two-way button out of the possible four ways, so that the top is auto and the bottom is cut. Um, so if I press down here, it'll cut, and if I press up here, it'll auto. Shift, this has been, I've set this up like uh, some of the four-way examples I have in the other um, demos. The top here is going to, uh, top and bottom are going to move us up and down between our different states, and left and right is going to send us through our different um, shifts, and I'll show you those in a second. These are our dials, uh, our encoder dials, so if I want to adjust the speed limit of the PTZ camera, I can do that. Um, or if I want to adjust, let's see, if I'm in manual exposure mode, I'll get some more dials over here. Um, so if I want to adjust the iris, I can make these changes using these two dials, and they change. Uh, you've noticed I'm hitting the, um, I'm stepping through the different selections of possible combinations here. Uh, in the way that I've set them up. So these, even what you're seeing here is totally configurable and I've set it up so that I can go left and right through the different settings. Zoom, and this is actually our PTZ control. This is a joypad, which is a custom component from Scarhoy. And what happens here is, is that when I press button one, that's gonna bring up, um, that's gonna select camera one, which in this case is a PTZ optics camera. Um, and if I select button two, that's going to be uh, my wireless camera, which I'll explain again in a second. And then camera three, I've set up as my Ada camera. So this is um, driving three different kinds of cameras through three different methods, um, ethernet, uh, wireless, and serial. Um, and I'll explain more about that in a second. So let's take a look at the desktop because that's going to be where I'm going to explain how this configuration has actually been set up a little more in depth. So hopping over to the desktop here, we can see this is the configuration. If you're not familiar with the way that Scarhoy units are programmed, you use the firmware updater, you click online configuration, and it takes you to a page um, it takes you to a simple version first now, which gives you the option of loading some presets. And one of the presets that this one came with is a preset called um, vMix slash PTZ Optics. But I have an Ada camera here that I wanted to throw in as well. And these are all of the controls. Uh, it's a lot of them. Um, but what I've done is I've set it up so that I can have my... Um, camera selector on one state, my presets on another state, but at the same time, if you look closely at it, this is selecting the camera, and that means I can pan and zoom on it, but it's also bringing it up as a preview source in vMix, so each button is doing multiple things at the same time. And then I'm doing that for the first and second buttons, and then the third and fourth are set up for Ada cameras, so you can see the function set here is PTZ Optics PT20 Camera Select, and we have um, the vMix core loaded as well, PTZ Optics and Ada. And then down here, you'll notice that the Ada uh, camera select is used instead. So I've broken up those four buttons into controlling PTZ Optics and Ada cameras. And then the auto cut button, this is the one that um, does cut if you press the, uh, the bottom and fade if you press the top. Uh, shift is a bit more complicated. This is that four-way button, which does different things depending on which side that you press. It looks complicated, but it's actually not uh, not not that not that intimidating. Zoom just zooms in and out. Um, this is the joypad, and let me um, I'll go back to my desktop and I'll show you that function. Um, so I'm going to hop over to VMix so you can see what it's doing. So this is when I press one. It's bringing up uh, camera 
one in preview, and then I'm going to adjust the PTZ. So I can press all different sides of it and get different movement. I can zoom in and out. And then if I uh, press number two here, uh, number two is this camera here, um, which is the Ada camera. Um, no, it's the, the our wireless camera, which I'll, I'll have to switch back to our wider shot for you to see. Uh, so this is, uh, this is this camera. Oh, number two is this camera over here. And I'm actually communicating to it through wirelessly through the Nimbus 6220. So there's an Ethernet cable that runs to that from the network switch that this is plugged into. And then it's sending the PTZ controls, um, PTZ, yeah, control uh, signals wirelessly over this unit, which is then plugged in via Ethernet. So we're able to control that unit um, wirelessly using this little tiny unit and this wireless uh, Nimbus 6220. Input number three is our Ada camera, um, and that's number three yeah, is our Ada camera here, and you can see that it's moving pretty quickly. Um, that's why one of the nice things here is the speed limiter. So if I want to move it much more slowly, it's now um, a much more subtle effect. So that is the PTZ Wiz in a nutshell, and it is a really compact form for introducing um, switching and PTZ control into your production environment. If you're wandering around uh, the country and your venues with something like a splice, which is a two input uh, SDI switcher, um, this is a great companion for it because it's just about the same size. So you can fit your switcher and PTZ control all in a little tool case. And then all you have to do is bring along a couple of PTZ cameras and you're ready to go. And like all of the Scarhoy products, it's completely flexible and you can load up a variety of different PTZ controls on it. You don't have to just use PTZ optics or ADA. You can use Lumens or NewTek or Sony or JVC or Panasonic or Marshall or Vadio, uh, and they're always coming out with new controls. On the switcher side of things, uh, we're using vMix here, but this could also control an ATEM or a TriCaster. The list goes on and on. So the amount of different products that you can control from this one tiny little controller is immense and growing. So that's the, once again, the Scarhoy PTZ Wiz. If you have any further questions, just reach out to uh, us at usbroadcast.co or check out our Facebook page. Thanks for watching. <music>